my sex video is starting. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome to Soul Connected Conversation for Your Soul Podcast. I am your one and only host, Slim. Yes, self-love is mandatory. <laughs> self-love is mandatory. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry I'm running on that CPT. But you know what? I'm here. I am here. That's what matters is that I am here. I apologize for running on the CPT time. I had to make sure the babies was okay, okay? Okay, all right. Um, Go ahead and put hashtag soul connections in the comments if you can hear me. I just want to... I want to say thank you for my my, my fellow soul tribe <laughs> for coming in. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Go ahead and hit hashtag soul connections in the chat if you can hear me. I appreciate the love and the support. Um, Today is, what is today? Today is Thursday, February the 8th, 2024. And I got a little message in store for you. Um, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You just want to put a hashtag in front of that next time, please. Thank you, I, I appreciate all the support. We want to keep the hashtag trending. The importance of a hashtag, okay, 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 go ahead and hit that hashtag. Um, it's February 8th, 2024. Um, real quick, uh, I want to give a shout out to my cousin, his birthday's tomorrow, so happy birthday, cuz, love you lots. Um, Today's topic, I'm just going to dive right in. I'm just going to dive right in. There's some things that I needed to get off my chest. There's some things that I want to talk to y'all about. And I need y'all to help me help you help us. This is all about love. We want to bring together. So now since we're bringing together in 2024, I got a few questions. And maybe y'all may have a few questions um, in store for y'all, okay? The first question is, I, I genuinely need to know... Um, or somebody can please make me understand what the battle is between men and women. I genuinely need to know. I want to know why are men against women, women against men. I want to know where to love at. Where to love at. That's what I want to know. Where to love at. Hey, 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 y'all. Thanks for tuning in on Paradise Lynn. I appreciate y'all. Once y'all get done, or you can right now, please go ahead and hit hashtag soul connections. That's with three L's. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to know where the love at nowadays. Tell me where is the love. I'm concerned. I, I, I'm, I, 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 I am behooved. We'll put it this way. I am behooved. I don't know when. And maybe y'all can enlighten me. Hey, cuz. Hit hashtag soul connections. I don't know when or, I, excuse me, I don't know when the hatred for the men have for the women and the women have for the men. And it has created such a um, distance between us. Um, I'm confused. Can somebody enlighten me? The men that I have on this page, can y'all explain to me? Why is there a war between men and women, men and women, and women between men? Everybody's saying, oh, I don't need a woman. Women saying, I don't need a man. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Stop the cat. That's right. I said it. Stop the fucking cat. Oh, I don't know if I can say that. Facebook, don't ban me, please. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm building a content creator. I'm trying. That's what I need to know. Stop the cat. Stop. Um, over here on Paradise Lynn, India said, there is none because a lot of people don't love themselves. Oh, that's, there's a lot of people don't love themselves. Mike says, men want fit, feminine, friendly women only. I gotta try, I gotta say that three times. That's a tongue twister. Thanks for coming aboard. Go ahead, hit hashtag soul connections in the comments. That's with three L's. The conversation we're having today is, where is the love? Hashtag where is the love? You, I don't know. I don't know. I want to know why is there such a battle on men and women and women on men? Everybody's saying, everybody is saying uh, that women, okay, I'm speaking from a woman and then I'll go into a man. Women are saying, I don't need a man. I don't need this. I don't need that. Men is saying, I don't want no woman. I'm good. I'm doing this. 
time out. Why is there a division when we were put on this earth to unite and become one to become even more powerful? As far as I know, as far as I know, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. In the beginning of times, there was Adam and Eve, right? Eve came from Adam's rib, according to the King James Version, Genesis. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be. <laughs> doesn't say I am, but I could be wrong. I mean, where is the love at? And that's what we're missing in the dynamic and the vibration in the world. No women should be talking about, I don't need a man. Yes, you do. Stop the cap. You do. Men talking about, they don't need a woman. You need a woman. Love, Stop love, the cap. Love is in your heart. Yes. Y'all, even the babies understand. Y'all hear me? Even the babies understand. Oh, poo, give me a kiss. Mwah, high five. I love you. Too late. <clears throat> yeah, so, um, okay. So the question is, you all up in the headphones. Question is, is where is the love? And Mike said, it's so many masculine women out here. <laughs> Mike, you opened up a can of worms. My um, my cousin uh, Latoya Rice said, shit, I need my husband. I know that's right. Can we stop putting on this front like I'm too strong? I'm an independent black woman. No, because I want to say a few things. I'm saying that's okay to be an independent black woman because you need a personal life too. However, let me explain these few things. I don't know if you guys watched the um, the Shannon Sharp and the Monique and, and the Monique special. Oh, my goodness. The way she talked about her husband. I was like, oh, I need one of those immediately, immediately. Should I go on plenty of fish? I <laughs> No, 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 I'm just joking. But seriously, the way that she talked about her husband, the way that she uplifted that man, the way that she came on national TV for millions of views, viewers, for her to be vulnerable by showing her love, to her husband and how he helped listen to this very carefully because this is I had to sit back and ponder she said he helped raise her she was a strong woman already on the exterior she had the money in the bank she could do anything but her mental was 15 years old and when she met her husband and realized he was the one, he had to sit down and have those difficult communication, those difficult conversations with her so she can understand that she couldn't keep using her, um, her trauma as an excuse for her behavior. When she was vulnerable enough to say that, and she made a very valid point too, and you know, she said Tiffany had it, she didn't have a husband. However, if you ha would have had a husband, um, then you wouldn't have to worry about the two DUIs and, and the stuff that you've been going on. You know what I mean? So she made a very valid point. But the way that she uplifted her king and how she, he's her manager, her friend, her lover, that's an all-in-one. The way she described it, honey, I said, oh, wow. And then it made me think, where is the love at like this how come men don't uplift their women like this that we see or how come women don't uplift their men like this like like we like we see oh, hold on i have a couple comments i wanted to address mike i want to go back to um what you say about masculine woman because that's that's a that's a topic maybe that's a topic alone and i don't even got my pen with me hold on oh, that's my lighter um because a lot of men want feminine women, right? Because, I mean, men are attracted to, to women, right? Women are attracted to men, right? Because, you know, us women, we go around and we say, and I say us because I'm included in two. I had to change my mentality and I had to say, okay, not all men are the same, okay? You keep picking the wrong man. You keep that spirit keeps following you, and because it's a familiar spirit and you're okay with comfortableness, you deal with it. That's a no no. That's a no no. But the only way that you grow is you got to get out of uncomfortable, you have to get um, 
uncomplacent. You got to move out of your comfort zone if you want to grow any way, shape, form, or fashion. So again, I ask you, where is the love? I mean, we... This, 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 I don't know what happened. Yes, Beyonce, Paul said, Beyonce said upgrade, right? Upgrade, let me upgrade you. Okay, sorry, had my Beyonce moment. <laughs> okay, um, let, can we stop the cap? What female doesn't, doesn't want to be protected? What man doesn't want to be catered to? I don't understand where the dynamic stopped. And all we're doing is promoting, is promoting, Division, and that's what, excuse me, let me take it back to the government if I can, but that's what the government wanted us to do, to divide. You know, you divide and conquer. Listen, listen to what I'm telling y'all. Divide and conquer. We're going to divide, and this is not just, we're going to divide the black man from the black woman, and we're going to conquer them. You understand what I'm, yes, and it's crazy. We have to change that energy everybody that's rolling with me that sees me on my soul connection page y'all part of the soul tribe so y'all understand y'all getting the message that i'm putting down y'all picking it up we gotta change that energy we're like the new i, I don't want to say it but like we're like the new baby boomers yeah <laughs> even though we're 40 well i'm 40 i'm shooting you know i'm 40 <laughs> you know but we got to we got to change the vibration in order to do that we got to spread that through us just like my baby girl said she said love is in the heart <laughs> because it is <clears throat> okay hold on we got we got um some comments on here i want to address i'm sorry yeah, we got 40 some years. We could change this energy, y'all. We got the juice to do that. So why aren't we promoting more black love? Do y'all remember back in the 90s? Can I get nostalgia? Can I can I give y'all nostalgia for a minute? Remember back in the 90s when we was happy to see Martin and Gina get married? Oh, 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 the famous, the famous wedding scene ever, okay? The the famous wedding scene ever. Different world. With Whitney and Dwight, Dwight, <laughs> remember them? And from a different world, they loved each other. Yes, love Jones type of love. Yes, where is it? And when things, when the atmosphere don't have love, what happens to stuff? It conquers it. It conquers it. Hold on, we have a comment. Um, over here on Soul Connections. Can y'all go ahead and type Soul Connections? Hashtag Soul Connections. That's with three L's. S-O-U-L-L-L -L -L Connections. If y'all need help, bow. Y'all know I got y'all live and direct. I want you to put hashtag, all one word. So just replace this with a hashtag or you can go on YouTube. Okay? All right. One comment, one um, <clears throat> subscriber says, can you be with one person doing everything for you, seeing them 24 hours a day? And shit, wonder why you mad at that person? He controlling everything in your life. <clears throat> Get out. <laughs> you don't got to see that person every 24 hours a day. That's a healthy type of love. Go ahead. Thank you, Suki Stackhouse. Go ahead and put hashtag soul connections in there. Um... Can you be with one person doing everything for you, seeing them 24 hours a day? Shit, wonder why you mad at them. That person, he can be controlling everything in your life. Hold on. But this is the partner that you picked because you were in love. God took a vow to, to death to your part. See, so love shouldn't be so hard. So if, if you're my soulmate or if I love you, then I'm going to want to spend a day with you. Hashtag sometimes, y'all know in that little first beginning stages of love. Y'all know in, a, in, in both beginning and stages of love where you trying to call off work? Yeah, I miss those stages. That stage doesn't happen when you're in the 40s, baby. Mm -mm, you, you get those repercussions. I can't sacrifice my job for the love. But you know what? When I get off at 5, 501, yeah, I'm coming home to you, baby. <laughs> but no, but for real though. <clears throat> Thank you so much for participating. I, I genuinely appreciate y'all. Go ahead, hit hashtag soul connections. That's with three L's. The question of the day is... Where is the love? Where did it go? Did it die out with the 90s? Did it die out? Did it die out with the now with the 90s? 
when we have no longer Jodeci crying in a desert with their hot leather boots on and their shirts off, talking about, I will cry. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> I, had, I had a moment. I had a moment. I had a moment. <laughs> sorry, I'm going to bring it back down. Where is the love at? All right. So, um, hold on. Okay, um, over here in Soul Connections, Paul said, real love should not be hard. Um, someone else agrees and says, uh, you're right, Paul, it doesn't. Thank you so much for the hashtag Soul Connections. Is 90s, still, is 90s love still around? Kira Curry said, hey, girl, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Is still around? Yes. Yes. 90s love is still around. Exactly, Kira. You get the point. The 90s love is still is with us still. That's what I'm saying. We got it in our vibration to change it. But now when you turn on TV, you get shows and don't get me wrong because I am entertained by them. You get shows like Unfaithful, Cottony Act by Tammy. You get um, Love and Hip Hop where they're, they're fighting each other. You get you get more hatred that's portrayed out in the media between the men and the woman that there's not no love why is why is it it is we got it <clears throat> so why isn't it being shown because you you always you always go on social media right and then you see these podcasters one of them such as myself you also you also um see these little quick tiktoks saying Oh, my man ain't this, you know, a woman wants this, a man wants this. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Can we just, can we just tell each other, can, can we put love out there and meet somebody on our own terms where we are in life? And either way, it's programming for uppers. Yeah. Yeah. Love was traded for, traded in for sex for so many. Oh, great point, Paul. Great point. Great point. Um, somebody said it did die. The music did die after the Isley Brothers. <laughs> Woo, she's solely connected. We ain't going to show her age. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Mm. TV love is so fake. Yeah, TV love is, is fake. TV love is fake. Um, if you guys don't ever, if you guys have never watched, I used to always watch this show, Marriage Boot Camp. With Judge Lynn Toller, I love her to death. You hear me? And she taught me so much about love, being in love, compromising, and things of that nature. But I don't see it on social media the way that it used to be on TV program shows. You understand what I'm saying? So where did it go? Why, why, why do y'all men hate women? And then why do women hate men? And Mike, to get back to your point, oh, excuse me, hold on, Mike. Mike, remember, I'm, I'm calling you out on a point that you said something. Okay, Paul said, too many people either don't take the time to become friends or never learned how to be friends and have nothing to fall back when times get tough. That's true. People just rush right in. You're my soulmate. I love you forever because we shared off of a trauma bond. Your mind's forever. Ha, ha, ha. And then it turns into disaster. Yeah. You're right about that, because we were never friends first. I didn't get to take the time to get to know you. I didn't know if you like your butt, your bath water hot as hell or medium hot. I didn't get the chance to know what ticked you. I didn't get a chance to know to know you as an individual. I didn't get a chance to know your soul. I did not get a chance to know your soul. This is we're now in a day in society where everybody thinks that I'm entitled to. I should get this. I should get this. I should get this. I should get this. In the same breath, not realizing, not real, uh, it is, it's, it, it, uh, you can get that, but do you have the love to maintain that? So what I did today, because I was, oh, I'm sorry, go back to, to Mike's question. Mike said that there's a lot of masculine women. Okay, and I think I want to touch on this, but this may be another topic for another day. But let me try to, let me just try to, to briefly, maybe, oh, I don't want to do it. Might as well. Forget it. We having a soulful conversation, right? Okay, so the thing with masculine women, and <clears throat> um, I've known people in my life that are my friends to say that there's no such thing as a woman operating out of masculine energy 
And there's not a thing that a male can operate out his femininity. I want to tell y'all on my behalf what I thought, and maybe y'all can agree with me. I believe that there's toxic masculinity, toxic femininity. If a woman is operating masculinely, she's operating out of a toxic masculinity because she was designed to operate from her feminine side. So any masculinity that she's doing, it's already toxic because it ain't really supposed to be there. But, it, but the point is, and vice versa with the male, but the point is, is that the toxicity still there and that a man is acting like a woman and a woman is acting like a man. However, a little dose of that is necessary to keep the relationship balanced. A little bit is necessary to keep the to keep to keep the relationship balanced. Now, Mike, getting back to what you were saying, you were talking about um how um there's toxic femininity. This is what men can't get men can't seem to get with. If, if that's correct, if that's what you were saying, Mike, and correct me if I'm wrong. So that's where some of the, I don't want no woman. Um, hold on, please hold, put, put hashtag, hashtag soul connections in the chat, please. Hold on, I got, I got some comments I want to go ahead and, uh, and address. Okay, oh no. Um, over here on soul connection page, someone said the love in the 70s was beautiful men respected their women and took them out planned dinners surprises birthday parties so as you being an elder oh excuse me hold on one second let me go over here kira thank y'all for your patience i'm working two screens here kira curry says facts people don't know how to be friends or how to love so she was saying that to you pa okay all right, hold on. Okay, hashtag soul connection. It's a man's world. It is, but it ain't nothing without a woman. We need a balance. That's what I don't understand. It's a yin to the yang. It's balance. And so what if there are toxic, or excuse me, I, can, I don't want to say toxic. I apologize. What I want to say is, so what if there's women that are operating in their masculinity? And so what if there are men operating in their femininity? They just need to find the opposite sex operating in the energy of which they lack to balance it out and then have a conversation on the roles and the duties or the expectations that are given to the other person. Now, I don't, I'm telling you right now, I don't, I don't see the love on TV, on social media outside in the world being pushed or being displayed as much as it was back then. So as a point to what um, Diane Hutchison was saying here on Soul Connections in the 70s, now keep in mind, we're in the, we're in the 20th century, okay? Diane says, the love in the 70s was beautiful when men respected their women to take them out, plan dinner, surprise. That's because in the 70s, there was a family structure. There was a family structure that was upheld. We knew what the expectation was of the woman of the household. We knew what the expectation was of the man of the household in the 70s. Somewhere between the 70s to now, shit got fucked up. Shit got fucked up. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it 1,000. I'm going to keep it a G because my, 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 my station, my podcast right here is also for healing too. And people heal every day. I had to change my mindset for real, for real. I had to sit there and change my mindset and think about generation curses of, hold on, maybe angry black women. I'm being honest. Maybe angry black women saying men ain't shit. Duh, 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 duh. And you need to make sure you have this, this, and this to the point where now I'm a strong, independent black woman. Yes, I am. But time out. I don't want to be strong all the time. I, even Superman had a kryptonite. I don't want to be strong all the time. I want my man to defend me. I want I want to be cherished like a queen. I want my doors open, my, my chair pulled out. Hey, everybody on, on Paradise Land. Thanks so much for tuning in. Go ahead and ha hit hashtag like this. So connections, that's with three L's. Thank y'all for whomever is just now joining in. We are talking about where is the love now? 
What happened to it? Why are men against women, women against men? Why? Whatever happened to unity in the community? Go ahead, hit hashtag soul connections. Um, <clears throat> hold on, we got more. Um, oh no. Okay, hold up. Excuse me for a second. Whew, I'm sweating because the stuff is real. The stuff is real. Okay, hold on. I got some comments over here on soul connections. I'm trying to um. I'm trying to bring them over. Hold on, y'all. Y'all got to work with me. I'm working with two screens. I'm doing what I can do when I can do it. So bear with me. Uh, Carissa said, that's a fact. Okay. Um, hold on. Oh, no, no. Okay. Paul says over here, one is either higher self or lower self. When I was referring to um, masculine, masculine um, women being masculine and men being feminine. Paul said one of them is is operating in their lower self, and one of them is operating at their highest self. Woo, excuse me. Yeah. Woo, y'all, y'all already know what time it is. That wig about to pop off. Shit's getting real. <laughs> okay. Um, hold up. Okay. Men cannot be toxic female anything. That's what Paul says. Paul, we are all entitled to our own opinion. I understand. However, a toxic man or a male oxic acting out of toxic femininity will would be him doing things that a toxic female would do that's not accepted amongst the male community see we both we all have those chromosomes the x chromosome the xxy chromosome the xy chromosome we have those that determines us from being a male or a female and within those chromosomes obviously there's energy there's male energy and there's female energy well if you got an xy chromosome that means you got male and female energy which means it's in you and it's balanced hence the 666 that's for another day though that's for another day no we wasn't ready hold on we got more comments I don't like being hard all the time, India said. I know that's right. And one of them says, I bring home the bacon fry in a pan and never let you forget you a man. Uh, okay, that must have been one of them old school sayings. Okay, I bring the bacon fry in a pan and never let you forget you a man. Ooh, that's bars. Whoever wrote that, that's bars. <laughs> but no, back over here, let me go ahead and... um. And um, look on uh, my, my Paradise Lynn page. Go ahead, y'all. If y'all tune in with me, I really appreciate the love, Soul Tribe. Go ahead, hit hashtag Soul Connections. And yes, that's with 3L. We are currently talking about um, where did the love go? What's going on? Why do men hate women? Women hate men. Y'all talk to me. Okay, hold on. I'm coming on here. There's a couple comments. Kara said that, that. Programming from the uppers. It's programming from the uppers. Okay, uh, who said that? Hold on, let me get the glasses on. Who said that? Oh, no. Oh, okay, Mike said that. Okay, the independent... Okay, Mike said, the independent mindset of a woman is what a lot of men don't like. And I, and I, I can agree with that. The independent mind state of a woman that a lot of men don't like because it can be deemed as being masculine because we're operating in our masculine energy because we're independent well you think of a ceo of a company right um that's more so now this is statistics to say just me saying it because i believe that any gender or excuse me either or gender could be a ceo of a company but more than likely they're saying to be a CEO of a company, you have to think logically. So they identify that position for a man, not saying that woman cannot take it. Hear me clearly. Do not mix up my words. I'm not saying a woman couldn't take it. But what I'm saying is statistics in society is saying that a CEO of a company should be a male because he thinks logically. The president of the United States should be a male because he thinks logically and women are emotional creatures but it's okay but it's okay if it's a but it's okay if a man okay hold on let me let me be very specific on my words okay hold on okay hold up the chosen one okay hashtag his soul connections in there for me please and that's with three l's okay um, <clears throat> I lost my little train of thought a little bit. Just bear with me. Ooh, it's hot. That wig about to... <laughs> Dropping hot fire. 
no. So we're we're talking about why men and why men don't like women and women don't like men. And Mike, thank you so much, Mike Lipscomb. Thank you so much for your um for your interaction. Everybody, thank you so much for your interact or for your interactions. I appreciate it. Conversation topics all day. I definitely appreciate it. People are saying the reason why is because of. It's the upper plan to, to divide and conquer. Women are too masculine. The independent or the independent black woman is men are are afraid. I want to say afraid. What word did you use? I don't want to say afraid. I don't want to misquote you. Oh, they do not like the independent mind state. Now we have to talk about this, okay? Hashtag thank you so much, P. I appreciate that. Hashtag so connections now we have to talk about this and i just want to borrow y'all ears for a minute um <clears throat> the the women and the men and the men and the women were going back and forth because it's a, um a it's a plan to keep us divided to stop procreation i have nothing against the lgbt community i do not i appreciate and i love all kinds Okay, so whenever you take the love away from a man and the love away from a woman, who are they going to run to? When who are the, who's <clears throat> if a woman don't need a man, who's going to protect them? That's a man's job. That's a traditional. Hold up, y'all working with me? That is a traditional characteristic of a man. That's what we think men are. Men are providers. You give a woman a, a house, she'll what, y'all? She'll make it a what? A home. Go ahead, hit hashtag soul connections in the, in the chat for me. I appreciate it. I don't understand <clears throat> nowadays. <clears throat> I want to blame it on the music, too. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I want to blame it on the music because it's not sending out the vibrations that it used to. You put on some old school Isley Brothers between the sheets. Old school OJs, old school Teddy P. I'm sorry. That's what our parents, or some of y'all was even born to, born to them. You know what I mean? That's what our parents had to show or to put out in the vibration, to change their vibration, to get inside their system. They had that type of love, okay? Our generation, I'm, I'm 40. So, you know, in the 90s, I was listening to, you know, all the Leahs, SWV, Escapes, and all that. That's a type of vibration that I have. So, when I love, I give out that type of love. Um, I love, an, another topic from, from Tuesday was love language. Well, one of my love languages is music. If you could talk to my soul through music, it's a bond. You understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> Let's come back over here. Okay, hold on. Excuse me one second. <clears throat> All right, soul connections. I'm going back and forth. I'm going to get to you, D. Scott, in a second. I'm going back and forth here. On soul connections, uh, we the comment says, the first love of a woman is her father, and it's his job to show how a man treats his wife. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love my father. I was definitely a daddy's girl. Thank you so much for the comment. Thank you so much, Pete, for saying a great show over here. Derek says, hashtag the uh, chosen one, soul connections. Thanks for tuning in, Britt. Appreciate it. Who controls the music? Exactly. The upper. They do. They do. They control the music. That's why even with the music and the comedians that are coming out for real, because what they push out in the vibration, that's why it's changing. The truth is coming. That's why it's changing because it's not the way that it used to be. Now, all they want us to do as females is say yes. What do you want me to do, daddy? Bend over to the front, touch my toes. No, stop. Whatever happened to treating me like a lady? Where's Uncle Charlie? Where's Uncle Charlie? Uncle Charlie, we need you. Come back here, Uncle Charlie. We need you, Uncle Charlie. <laughs> But no, I think, um, <clears throat> let me calm down. I appreciate the interactions. Go ahead and hit hashtag soul connections in the chat if you are, if you are enjoying the show. But, um, no, seriously, I'm going to drop some facts on y'all about some love. I got, I did my paperwork ready. You know, some of the things that I know that I had to reevaluate re-evaluating myself was the word love. Had to find out the, a new definition, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I had to heal 
myself through certain things, through the understanding dynamics of what love is. Okay? So nowadays, like I said, nowadays what they portray out on TV as love is more so toxic love. I mean, it's time to leave that blue face and Christian and Stewie. It's time to leave that in the past. We need soul food. Because we need that soul food food. We don't know more Burger King, no more Mickey D's, no more Popeye's. I want the soul food. I want the mac and cheese, the yam, the turkey, and the greens. I want the love. <laughs> yes, go ahead and hit hashtag soul connections in the chat. I appreciate that. Um, who else am I missing on here? Who else am I missing on here? Somebody had another question. I'm so sorry, y'all. Hey, listen, if I didn't get to your question and you still want to ask it, still put it in the chat. I'm working off of two screens, but I thank y'all so much for your love and your support. Go ahead, hashtag soul connections in the comments. Um, we're talking about why do, where's the love? Why do men hate women and women hate men? Why is there, why is, why are we fighting against, why are we fighting against each other? Spell it for me. It's hashtag S-O-U-L-L-L-C-O-N-N-E-C-T-I-O-N-S. -L -L -E and if you need help, it's right here. Go ahead, hit hashtag in the building. I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> I, Like I said, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all right now, don't ever let a woman fool you saying she don't, she don't need a man. We need a man. She might not want one, but we need one. And, women, and men, y'all need us women. It's the complete circle of life. It says, he who finds a wife, it's destined for y'all. You know what I mean? Or whatever sexual preference or sexual orientation you prefer, whatever. We just needed the love to be genuine. <clears throat> because what we're doing right now is we're raising the little ones. You know, the ones that still listen to Gracie Corner and stuff. The one that still watches Bluey and stuff. <clears throat> oh, we have somebody Oh, in the chat. Um, oh, she said men are more insecure now. Wow, that's deep. That's deep. So I have a question for you, um, young lady. I didn't want to call you out on soul connections, but if you don't mind me asking, you said men are more insecure now. So I have a question. What makes the men more insecure now? What makes them? Because people would say women are insecure because we wear eyelashes, fake eyelashes we get our nails done that's fake our hair we could put wigs on that's fake women are getting bbls that's fake that's also considered insecure because why do you feel that you need lashes wigs bbl nails done why can't you be who you are so some men feel like us women are insecure okay Carissa, okay, I'm coming back over here to Paradise Lynn. I think part of the problem, she says, um, we have Carissa over here in Seoul, or excuse me, on Paradise Lynn. She says, I think part of the issue is women and men don't know how to truly communicate with each. I, 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 I can agree with that. Hold that thought, Carissa. We're going back over here to Brittany. Brittany said, because some women are taking a more masculine role, now we can take care of our, ourselves. We don't need them. Great answer, Brittany. You know what? That's what over here on Paradise Lynn page, Mike Limpscombe said. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm messing up your last name. I'm just going to call you Mike. And I apologize for the ignorance. I'm not going to keep acting like I'm, I'm saying your name correctly and I'm not. I apologize, Mike. Um, Mike said, <clears throat> Mike said the same thing you said, that... Women now are more operating in their masculinity. Now, I want to go back to, I want to go back to, to Carissa's comment. Oh, no. I want to go back to Carissa's part, um, comment where she says, I think part of the issue is women and men do not know how to communicate with each other. Well, with each. I agree with you. I also want to piggyback off of what you're saying is it's not only to communicate because when you communicate with somebody, you have to have the respect for them too, right? And the comprehension of what they're saying. You have to have enough respect to allow the person to get done speaking so that you could speak and show that person respect. They say, um, yo, uh, uh, I'm about to go meet up with Bobby today. Okay, this is an example. And then you say, um, 
what I heard you say, or if he's, or if your man comes to you and say, baby, look, I got a problem. They overdraft the account. We need $300, whatever. Then the woman would say, okay, I heard you tell me that the bank account was, you know, they clarify it because she, she needs to repeat back or the other person that is receiving the communication needs to rebuttal back to the under, to the other person with an understanding to get clear communication hopefully i said that correctly if you understand what i'm saying hey everybody on um paradise limb page go ahead and hit hashtag soul connections everybody on soul connection hit whoo connections soul connections i appreciate that oh 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 wait a minute one person on soul connection says all of our lives we had to fight they don't respect the roles but in a relationship do, do you have a role in the relationship? Mike says, if she don't need a man, then tell her to pave her own roads, do HVAC, work or work woman, need men, and we need women too. Exactly. We need it. You're, you're absolutely right. I butchered that all up. I apologize. But yes, that is right, Mike. That is Mike. Or that is right, Mike. Um, and it's not necessarily... Okay, now let me explain your comment, Mike, for a minute. Because I, I see where you're going with this. Okay? She's saying she doesn't need a man in her life. Not without her life. So you know we need those masculine jobs filled. But she's saying she doesn't need a man in her life. That's what she's saying. That's what, that's what I'm saying that the woman is saying. Okay? Hold on. Let me go over here. Men are supposed to provide. And then we could do all that stuff. There are women in HVAC. Yes, he's not saying that there's not women to, to do that. What he's basically saying is more particularly, it's more of a traditional role for a man to work HVAC than a woman. Not saying that a woman can't do it. It's more of a traditional role for a man to do hard manual work labor. Because our job as females is to make sure when our man that just got done paving them roads come home to a hot meal. His hands look like hot pavement. My nails look like, well they need to get done right now again. His look like that so mine can look like this so I can get it done. You know, <laughs> hashtag soul connections, hashtag I need my nails did right now. <laughs> oh, I'm hot. Okay, we're going back to Paradise Lynn Page with a comment. She says, whoo, that wig about to come off. I'm cooking over here. I'm cooking in the kitchen. Sorry. <laughs> um, Carissa said, true, but a lot of women have lost respect for men completely. Women have to take the accountability for the damage that they have caused. Okay, Carissa and Carissa states that true, but a lot of women have lost respect for men completely. Women have to take accountability for the damage that they have caused. Now, I agree with you. I believe in, in, the, in the love department and in the... Um, in a relationship department, um, that men has also lost a lot of respect for women. And I'm going to tell you why. And before I read any other comments, allow me to, to finish. <clears throat> and this is where I said men has lost respect for women as well. Men don't cherish women anymore. They don't think that we are a prize. Okay. What they see, could because this is what modern day women, what you see, pushed out. I'm not a modern day woman, so y'all have to y work with me on my verbiage. I told y'all before in previous episodes, I created my own lane, and I'm calling myself a moditional woman. That's right, I said it, moditional, which means I understand how modern society works, but there's a lot of morals, values, characteristic traits that I believe in are more traditional. I grew up with both of my grandmas and I had two great grandmas and my grandma had me in the garden and the grandma had me in the kitchen. But she says women have lost respect for men completely. 
I can agree with that. That's why I'm having this show today, because the respect factor on both parties is no longer there, which means where is the love? One of the components of love is respect. How can I sit here and say I love you? I don't respect you. Can you respect somebody and not love them? Can you love somebody and not respect them? All right. <clears throat> Um, she also states the second part of her question before I come over to soul connections is she said women have to take accountability for the damage that they have caused. I agree with that. It's both parties as well. Um, men and women. It's not just women. This is the reason why I'm having the show because it. Why do men hate women and women hate men? Because some men and some women feel like the opposite sex do not take accountability, which builds resentment. All right, hold on. We got people coming in. Hold on. Y'all bear with me. And thank you so much for your, thank you so much for your love and support. Go ahead, hit hash. Go ahead in the chat. Hashtag soul connections. That's with three L's. Okay. Mike said, Okay. Susie said, forget that. I'm hopping over to Paradise Land. You better stop it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> in the conversation in the chat, they're saying, um, oh, no. Okay, y'all keep commenting. I keep, hold on. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. I thank y'all so much for, for tuning in. Um, Susie McWilliams said, most women lost respect for men because men lost respect for themselves. Okay. Mike says, a lot of women want the man they're courting to already be established, but that way, excuse me, but they themselves want a man to take me as I am. So you're saying there's double standards, Mike. <clears throat> and she's saying, but a lot of women won't because it's not fair to them. Okay, what's going on over here in Soul Connections? Okay, if you're in the Soul Connections or if not, please go ahead, hit hashtag Soul connections in the chat for me um i'm sorry let me go back thank you so much tip appreciate you boo um a lot of women want the man they they're courting to already be established but they themselves want a man to take me as i am but mike here's a very valid question for you so if oh no so you're saying that us women want a man that's already established but was Adam already established in the Bible when we came from his rib? Because you, you, if you read, if you read Genesis, and I don't know if you're religious or not, or if, if you even read the Bible or not, in the beginning, it's um, it says that you know God made Adam first, and then we came from his rib, right? And also in the Bible, it says he who choose, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. During Within, excuse me, let me calm down because I'm making my point. I'm calming down. Um, within the Bible, it also states that you that the Lord has to prep the woman for the man. Okay, a man is supposed to teach her. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna drop the Bible verse where it basically says that women are ignorant until they are loved correctly by the right man from a man of God. Why train a boy to be a man and then he leaves you? Oh, what's going on over here in Soul Connections? <laughs> um, hold on. Mike said, but a lot of women won't because it's not fair to them. Okay, a lot of women want a man to be until it comes to dating. Okay. Um, Brittany says, a lot, of, a lot of men want a woman to be a woman until it comes to dating and courting. Then they want the woman to go half. Oh, it's, go it's going down over here. Great topic, guys, today. Thank you. Yes, he already named animals and everything on earth. Right, Mike. So in return, is it, isn't it your job to mold the woman? Because the woman is supposed to be submissive to the man. And you, could, I'm, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. That's why I'm asking you. Um, over here in Soul Connections, <clears throat> we got, why train a boy to be a man and then he leaves you? Um, because people do it every day. Diane Hutchinson, people do it every day. You raise your son to be the best man he can be. And then once he once he finds his wife, he leaves those childish things. He leaves his mother and father. He leaves the nest. And he goes and takes those morals, values, those um, characteristics that he learned, how he saw his 
father love his mother and take that with him to his household where he goes build the kingdom and now he got his queen. So you do that all the time. Um, she said over here in Soul Connections, then they want you to be their, their mama and want you to... I'm sorry, can you finish your question? I apologize. If y'all with me, people, please go ahead and hit hashtag so connections in the chat if you still with me today. I love, I love the engagement that I'm receiving from y'all today. Thank you so much. And what we're talking about today is why do men hate women? Women hate men. Where is the love at? Where is the love at? Talk to me. They want you to be their mama. And, and you know what? Some women may feel, and you know what? That's a childhood issue. I'm talking over here on soul, on soul connections. That's a childhood issue. If your man of whom you say, cannot show you love because they want you to be their mama, that is their childhood wound of which they need to heal with their actual mother. Because the same women that are saying that, oh, he wants, he wants the love of his mother, I can't provide that, may be missing the love of their father. Okay, let's, the, the scale can tip both ways. That's what I'm saying. So when do we put this aside and actually genuinely love and love conquers hate? Love conquers hate. Um, Mike says, are most women deserving of a man going 100 what do you think a woman should do in order for him to be 100 instead of half mm. Mm. I'm gonna I'm answer I'm, I'm gonna say that question again are most women deserving of a man going 100 percent no I'm gonna keep it real with you Mike no not most women are deserving of a man going a hundred percent not all what do you think a woman should do in order for him to be 100 instead of half now when you say okay now wait a minute let me let me clarify my answer let me let me go back mike when you say that are you talking about 100 percent just on the bills or 100 percent in the relationship in general can you clarify that for me please are you talking about specifically for the bills are you talking about the relationship in general? Hash back over here to, to soul connections. Oh, that's a good one. Over here in soul connections, they're they're asking. There is a lot of women. Okay, hold I'm a, hold on one second, soul connection. I'm gonna address this over here at Paradise Lynn. Give me a second, please. If you haven't already in Paradise Lynn, go over to Soul Connections, type in hashtag soul connections, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Now, Mike, to answer his question, he said, Are most women deserving of a man going hundred percent? What do you think a woman should do in order for him to be one hundred instead of half? In the relationship. This is just not on bills. This is in the relationship. Okay. First thing is, I believe everybody, man or woman, when you're in a relationship, if you made a mutual agreement, automatically from the rip, it's 100%. We all in. You took a commitment. You took a commitment to be with me. I took a commitment to be with you. Do you think a woman should, what do you think a woman should do in order for him to be 100 instead of half? Anything to support him to maintain, to keep that 100 that would be comfortable for her man. Now, with all of this being said, <clears throat> I want to explain some things to y'all. Y'all know I got my papers ready. <laughs> this is a great show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys, I appreciate y'all. Now, in my healing phases of my of my journey, right? Cause what people heal every day be, <laughs> I'm not healed, but I'm healing. <laughs> and some of the topics that I'm talking about Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Mike said, some men are 50-50 men and some are 100 care of taking care of everything. And I meant everything, not just relationship. My bad. Oh, okay. Okay, Mike. Thank you so much for clarifying that up. 
Um, what I have to say, I can't even type. Um, so, so Brittany, you trying to come on live? What you? No, you can't because I'm operating off of the two. So I, one of them won't get the message from you. Sorry. Oh. Um, okay. Some men are 50-50 men. And some are 100, taking care of everything. Well, you're right. And this is where I say people lie. People lie. Energy doesn't. I'm saying once you find that woman and if you get off of her energy and vibes, if you feel her soul connection, real talk, if you had conversations with her and him too, um, this is, this is vice versa. This is, this is a unisex right now. Okay. Cause it goes both ways because it goes both ways. What I'm saying is your people lie. Energy don't, I can tell you bullshit all day, but are you catching my energy? You know, and some men, some men are 50, 50 men and those 50, 50 men will line up equally for a 50, 50 woman and how you find out the difference between the two. You ask probing questions. You have to ask the questions and depending on the answers that they give you, you could tell through the vibration and through the energy because energy don't lie. People do. I had that whole, I had that, um, that whole mind state. Let me talk to you for a second, Mike. I had that whole mind state of me saying, you know what? Let's go 50, 50 on everything. You know, I, I could, I could pay my way. Hold up, Mike, Mike, I'm about to drop this for you. Ready? Hey, I'm an independent black woman. I could pay my way, right? 50, 50, right? But it wasn't like that, right? A lot of men want traditional women. For example, let me give you an example. Men want traditional women, right? And women want a traditional man, right? So they want traditional, right? Because women, that's because, I mean, that's what worked back then, right? Because that's the uh, standard. That's the blueprint. There we go. Thank you, Jesus. That's the blueprint of what a male is and what a female is, right? So I have a question. Because at some point, right? They say women hit a wall, okay? And this is some straight up truth, okay? Women hit a wall where we become pick me per se. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, right? Because at some point, body count matters, right? So here's a question and think about it. Think about the question. This, this is about to get deep. Think about the question. It's about to get deep. If women hit a wall and men worried about, you know, sexual partners, right? Because men don't want experienced women. Men want women at a younger age where they can form and mold them into something. When you put a, excuse me, not into something, into their trophy. We'll put it that way. Let me, let me be real with y'all. But a man, okay, okay, hold, wait, wait, Mike. Okay, Mike said, what type of man would you prefer, 50-50 or 100? I ain't gonna lie, Mike, I prefer 100. I do. I, I did the 50-50 because I was a strong, black, independent woman. I'm bringing half to the table. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Come on, if you traditional man, if you're a traditional man, Come on with it then, with the 100. You know what I'm saying? Men don't want experienced women, but want... Okay, hold up. Mike said men don't want experienced women, but women want experienced men. Because it's designed that way, Mike. Y'all were here before us. Y'all supposed to lead the way, right? Because if a woman were to lead, we would be operating out of our masculinity. And that's not what we're supposed to do, right? So let me go back to the body count because I have a very, a very, I have a very interesting question I want to ask you. So if men get praised for having a high body count, women get, oh, if, if, excuse me, if men's body count is supposed to be high, because you get praised for that, right? Women's body count is supposed to be low. Y'all see where I'm going with this? Who is the men loving? 
Men don't want experienced women. We want experience or but women want experienced men. Yes. What what woman wouldn't want an experienced man? What woman want don't want an experienced man? In the Bible, y'all are supposed to lead, right? Y'all are supposed to be experienced, right? We get our knowledge from y'all because y'all were supposed to teach us. And that's only if a woman can be submissive. Now, if a woman can't be submissive to your plan that you lay out for, for her or if, you're, if your woman's not submissive because she don't feel safe or whatever situation may be, if she's not being, if she's not uh, following you and if you're leading, then yes, you take that and you roll out. That's not the woman for you, bottom line, bottom line. Okay, we have over here. Okay, hold on. Lifestyle changes life. Yes, it does. Why is why is it all murderers, the man, always kills his woman because he was never real? And she found out and took her power back and bruised his ego. What? Hmm? Oh, on the show, Tammy Roman caught unfaithful. Okay, lifestyle does changes. Lifestyle, lifestyles do change. And in, in order to change, you have to adapt. That's growth, right? So as long as you're communicating with your partner. And excuse me, it's not only about communication. It's also about comprehension. You can talk all day. You could talk all day. But are you understanding what I'm saying? All right, hold on, Mike. Mike says, I mean, sexually experienced, for example, if I had no game and I tried to get at females, but I get curved, no woman want to lame, nigga, but if I got game and swag and I know how to get women, then women will see that and be attracted to that. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say all that. You know what I mean? There's somebody out here for everybody. You know what I mean? It's, um... Women are attracted to glitter. If you feel that way, women are attracted to pretty things. That's why they tell you be careful because sugar looks like salt. I mean, salt looks like sugar. You know, men do have pride in their egos over here as soul connections. <clears throat> so, I mean, so do a woman at a certain age really hit a wall? Because sexually speaking, men hit a wall between the ages of 35 and on. At any time, they can go impotent. And if men, all they want... And if men, all they desire is sex, then blue pills is popping. And sometimes you can have erectile dysfunction. But when a woman hit her 35s and up, she in her prime, she ready to fuck fuck. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> maybe she, maybe I shouldn't have said it like that. I apologize. <laughs> Hashtag full connections. Let's just keep it real. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But look. So, um, oh, wow. We had a really good conversation today, guys. Even the uglies have men. What, what is going on over here in Soul Connections? Is you have to go with the right vibe. You got to go with the right vibe. So, again, we're talking about why do men hate women? And why, and I don't want to say hate. We'll say why do men dislike women and why do women dislike men? Yes. Oh, and where did the love go? Yes, at 30 plus, women do hit a walk, especially if she got mileage. I mean, 45 and up. Well, wait, wait a minute. That's, that's when our um, um, menopause can start. But between the 35 and the 49 and stuff, yeah, let's go. Let's go. That's our prime. Look it up. Per WebMD, per psychologist today. There's certain pheromones and, and, and stuff inside the inside that we're ready to go during that age. That's our prime at that age. But while we're, but you said, quote unquote, she got mileage. You don't want an experienced woman, though. You don't want an experienced woman. Men want women that are inexperienced so he can mold them however if you get a woman that's older and she's willing to be submissive once she find out the game plan you in for the ride of your life bruh <laughs> you in for the ride of your life <laughs> uh go ahead hit type uh hashtag so connections in the chat that's s-o-u-l-l-l -L -L connections accountability oh somebody with the accountability word again all right so what's accountability to y'all you don't want to buy a used car for 3000 
Well, then you better pick a car. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't want to buy a used car for $30,000. Well, so what you going to do? Get a younger woman who's inexperienced and try to train her? You don't want to buy a used car for $30,000. That blew my muffin cap back, Blue. <laughs> oh, shit. But you can't, I can't sit here and let you say that even though, just because, okay, hold on. <laughs> even if you do buy a used car for $30,000, check, you're right, check the mileage on that motherfucker. Because you, it might only have 15,000 miles and the car was in 2001. It's now 2024. That car is a good fucking car. I know because I'm going to tell you. I bought a 2001 Chevy Cavalier. 2001 Chevy Cavalier. It had 99,000 miles on it. 2001. It's 2024. 99,000 miles. Yeah, I bought that. Yeah, I bought that. That was a blessing. Hashtag, that was, that's a real true life event, though. So, when you use the car analogy, it kind of reminded me. Yeah, I would invest. I mean, does, does the window still work? Does, does the, <laughs> do I got a roof in the back? <laughs> I mean, because for real, for real, you can make a $30,000 investment, clean her up, add some stuff to it, and then you can sell it again. Okay, all right, let me calm down. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, we got new comment. We got new comments. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, cuz, thank you so much for choosing, for, um, tuning in. What we talking about? We're talking about, um, love. Where did it go? Why are men versus women and women versus men? Hashtag, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I had that mentality of, no, I don't, I don't need a man. I'm good. No, I do. I do. I'm sorry. I do. I'm not, I'm not part of that community. I'm independent, but I don't want to be de independent all the damn time. I want to come home and share my ideas and I want to come home and have my bath water rubbed every now and then. Shit. I want to cook my man meal. I want to cater. You know what I mean? Shit. It's good when you have, it's good when somebody loves you back for real. Ain't that what Al agrees? It feels, uh, uh, uh. Uh, money loves you back. Okay, don't get me started because I told you I can't sing. But listen, what I really want to go, go through y'all right now is I found some things. You know what? Nah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to save this for the next show. I'm going to save this for the next show. I'm going to save this for the next show. Oh, no. No, no, no. Cancel. We're going. I'm going to save this for the next show. So today, we talked about... I'm just going to sum it up because we've been on here for an hour. I got to get my baby to bed. She got school in the morning and I got work. Um, I'm coming over to Soul Connections. The Soul Connections, um, she says, when you come home, a fam to a when you come a family with all women, you have to be a strong man to handle that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But my opinion and what we've seen from today is why men don't like women women don't like men and the reasons why we came up with that and the reasons that we came up with that was for um accountability women think they're masculine men are insecure um nobody wants a woman with high mileage right um per mic right um 50 50 uh 50 50 some men may be jealous of the female which is why there's a lot of the that energy going out go ahead y'all hit hashtag soul connections and yes that's with three l's s-o-u-l-l-l -L -L connections c-o-n-n-e-c-t-i-o-n-s and if you're interested in being on the show call and let me know 412-634-0788. Again, that's 412-634-0788. Hashtag Soul Connections. <clears throat> what I was going to do was try to break down the stages in love for y'all and tell y'all how I was going to heal from it. And uh, the psychologist uh, uh, Robert Sternberg's theory of the triangle theory of love. But we started talking about all the rest of the stuff. I kept the energy going. Listen, I appreciate your participation. 
I appreciate your love. I appreciate um, <clears throat> your hashtag so connections. Mike, I want to say thank you so much for your participation of, of the mail. We definitely needed more mail's views. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Please, Mike, send me your address uh, for the bracelets, please, so I can get that out to you. Oh, wait a minute. Before we go, Mike has a question. Let's go ahead. <clears throat> um, Mike said, do you think, do you think a woman with bills, baggage, and baby daddy Baby daddy problems deserve a well-established single man who has no baggage and is high value and don't have a baby mo mother problems. <clears throat> Are you ready for... Oh, hold up. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Oh, I think I messed up the mic. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all put, put a number one in the chat if y'all can hear me? I was getting ready to end it. Can y'all put a one in the chat if y'all can hear me? Mm. Mike, you asked a very good question. Can y'all hear me? Can somebody put a one in the chat, please? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Carissa. Okay, Mike, I'm going to read. Uh, God damn it. I'm going to uh, reread Mike's question and ask my honest opinion. Do you think a woman with bills, baggage, and baby daddy problems deserve a well-established single man who has no baggage and is high value and don't have baby mother problems. Want the honest to God truth? If he fits her soul. If she fits his soul. Be honest. I'm going to be honest. Because honestly... I can answer that in, in a biased way, for real, because I'm not going to lie to you. Like I said, I'm going to keep it real with soul connections. Do you think a woman with bills, ba baggage, and baby dad problems? Well, I'm 40. I'm not going to lie. I'm 40. I got BD issues, and I do have bills. However, I manage my own. I'm not sticking my middle finger up at you. Sorry. I manage my own bills. I've been paying my own bills. I don't have one of my baby's dads on child support, so I don't need that. Oh, no. Don't need that support. And a well-established single man. If that well-established single man is picking up my vibe, and if he's that confident in the man that he is, and if he can handle that, yeah, why not? It's, it's in the Bible to lead, right? But who would want to? That's the difference. Because I can consider myself, just because I don't have $6 million in the bank, that don't make me... A low, value, a low value woman. Hell, I kind of, I, 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 like you said, I like my man experienced because, hey, if you already been through this situation, teach me the game, ghost. Teach me the game, ghost. So I'm going to be real with you on that, Mike. I'm not even going to lie to you for real, for real. I, oh, man. I ain't going to even lie to you. Okay, um. Mike said, you good. You know, I fuck with you. Yeah, I fuck with you too, Mike. I just have questions for days. I'm not really red pill, but I've seen a lot of real red pill manosphere stuff. Right. And, and I respect it. And I thank you so much because these are the type of questions that we want men's views and values too. Because um, y'all hashtag y'all matter too. Because a lot of, a lot of men um, feel like women don't value or don't listen to what they're saying. And that's not the case. We're listening, but we just got some questions too. You know what I mean? Because I, I consider myself, believe it or not, <clears throat> um, how I value myself, I consider myself a high-class woman. <laughs> Y'all laugh if you want to. In my mind, yes, I do. I got degrees. I make money. I maintain my household. I raise my kids. All of that. And I'm trying to start, and I'm in the process of starting my own business. You know? So, yes, I would be looking for... Um, I'm not looking for nothing no more. I'm not looking for nothing. The key is to keep working on myself to be a Proverbs 31 woman. Dead serious. And then my man will find me. When my man finds me, he will teach me. The same way Monique just got done talking about her husband is how my husband's going to be with me. You know, and they say for real, statistics say that women are mature faster than, than men. 
you know, I think by seven years, I believe, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, it goes both ways. It goes both ways, Mike, for real, for real. It definitely goes both ways. And um, I'm all in, in the type of community I'm for. I'm in the community of whatever works best for you, for you to operate in your highest version of you to accomplish the goals that y'all created in a relationship. That's my goal. That's my goal. That's the community I stand in. Because let's be all let's be all fair. I'm 40 years old. I don't want a young man. Because in my mind, a young man, I don't know, and I know that people say, oh, you might be biased. Um, in my man, in my mind, I I have a thing like you're younger than me. You don't know much. And it's ignorant. It's ignorant. I'm not gonna lie. It's ignorant. But I feel safe and secure with an older man who's been experienced. And I'm not even talking about sexually experienced. I'm talking about experience with life. It makes me feel safe. Because if I have a situation and I go to my man, what does he need to do? Oh, baby, you need to do this, this, and this, and this. All right, baby, well, if you ain't lead me wrong before, I'm following what you said. Okay, I need a man where I'll be able to bump ideas from. I'm not saying that a man that is younger than me cannot. I'm just saying for my security and for me to feel safe i need my man to be older so i'm 40 i'll be 41 in april so now my age bracket for my men are 52 i'm i'm lying i'm lying i ain't say 52 i meant to say 42 42 or whatever you know what i mean so and i think it's all about what works for you because there's not a lot i i, I don't hang around I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna discredit myself i don't hang around or i haven't bumped into a man that's making like by the way that he dressed, because you know you can never tell how much a per how much money a person makes just by the way they dress. Um, I don't know what they have in their bank account because that's not the first thing that I'm looking for. Facts, Mike. He said that's what's up. I fuck with you. I fuck with you too. Ever since I was in Pittsburgh and you helped me out, I was looking like a straight tourist, not knowing what to do or to go in that city. That day. I had you. I had your back like a chiropractor. That's the type of person I am. You help me. I help you. We help each other. Hashtag so connections. You feel me? I just. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you. Look at you trying to give me compliments. I'm 30. Nah, I'm gonna claim my age. I'm gonna claim. I'm gonna claim my wisdom. I'm 40. I'm 40. <laughs> I'm gonna claim my wisdom. I'm 40. Um, blessed. I'm, I'm, I hit the, uh, the 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 land of um. Uh, what's it? What the, Where did the Israelites go? Is that Dot in the building? Do we got Dot in the building? Oh, that's my. Oh, that's Uncle Donald. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Uncle Donald. Uncle Donald. We're talking about how times changed and how um um times changed. Why do men? Hey, why do men don't like women? Women don't like men. And where did the love go? That's what I was asking. Hey, um, where did the love go? Um, where did the love go? Can you hear me now in Soul Connections? Put one in the chat. Oh, she said my sound is off. Put a one in the chat for Soul Connections. If you're on my Soul Connection page, if you're on my Soul Connection page, please go ahead, type in one if you can hear me. Oh, uh, looks like my soul connection page ended. Oh. All right, so we're just going to end that. I don't know. I apologize. I had to end the video on soul connections. So if you're, if oh, shit, I can't even tell them if they was on soul connections. Come on over. I couldn't even say goodbye. Damn. Well, shit, we can keep the podcast going on this side. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Don't laugh at my forehead. Hey, Unc. So, yeah, Unc, like I was saying. <clears throat> like I was saying, Unc. What do you, where has the love gone since you, because you're, you're elder, you're elderly. Can, let, let's talk to the young bucks. Let's talk to us. Let's school us real fast. Um, what, what, um, what changed from then until now? How long you been married, Unc? Donald Fleming, go ahead and respond. Mike, I know you was cool. Yeah, of course I'm a Steeler fan. I'm a Steeler fan at heart. I got Kansas City second, but. Steel City? <laughs> yes. We were just talking about how nowadays the energy has changed and men ain't loving women, women ain't loving men. Where did the love go? We're too busy trying to fight and take people's positions. For what and why? Why can't we just rise up together, be one, 
Love conquers all. Love conquers hate. Let's work this shit out. Let's do things. 38 years. Thir Uncle Donald, you've been married for 38 years. I'm 40. I remember your wedding. <laughs> mm. Well, listen, I can go ahead and I can drag this podcast on all day long. I definitely can't because this is a very interesting subject. However, if you want more of soul connections, I'm going to need y'all to tune in on Tuesday. Because if you think today's topic was hot, my, we might go ahead and touch on that um on that toxic on that on that femininity stuff you know what i mean um oh thanks mike you too please tell the wife i said hey girl all right don't forget to reach out with me about the address i'll take i'll see i'll talk to you later i'll see you tuesday and next week at 8 p.m you and wifey come on y'all welcome congratulations on your nine years of marriage too boo um so, uh, like I said, I can carry the podcast all out on it because it's a very interesting topic to talk about. My Uncle Donald also said um, communication, which was one of the um, things that we did talk about. Uh, what's the discrepancy between the man and the woman? What stops the love? But listen, like I said, I got to get up out of here. I got work in the morning. I get my daughter to school. So, mm. oh, excuse me. I apologize. Um, so, I want you guys to tune in on Tuesday. I'm going to see you on Tuesday. All right? Um, I love y'all. Thanks for my soul tribe. Go ahead, type hashtag soul connections in the in the um in the chat. Remember, I am your host, Slim. Self love is mandatory. That is a fact. Remember to always take care of your soul connections. And I'm out. See y'all on Tuesday. Wait, before I go, go Kansas City in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all on Tuesday. <laughs>